So I'm doing some more experimenting with charging um, battery packs from my solar panel using only a boost converter instead of an official charge controller um, like an MPPT or a PWM charge controller. I'm just using a boost circuit. So um, here is one and here we are charging at about you know 35 watts from a 100 watt panel. I'm sorry the display looks crazy that's just the refresh rate on the camera it doesn't look like that in in person but it's charging at an amp at nearly 30 volts um, and let me show you what we got going here so let me unplug it so this is a um, 250 watt boost converter um, it is constant current and constant amps and when we use these the trick is we want to um, lock the voltage and just let the, the amps uh, vary um, so I have the voltage locked in and just max out the amps so that it hits the constant voltage before it hits constant amps that's what you want to do and then I'm running it through this cheap meter over here um, but let me show you what before we plug it into the battery plug it into the solar panel and then there's the voltage that it's set at and you can adjust that right here see 29.7 30 volts uh, well and since this is a 7s pack I want about 29.3 would be good and it's pretty sensitive so you just ease it in okay 29.3 volts that's good and then we plug it into the battery and you can see the battery is at 28.4 and we're delivering one amp um, and so in theory this should just charge up to 29.3 volts and then max out and stop at 29.3 volts I do ha again I do have the amperage maxed out um, because again you want it to hit voltage limit before it hits current limit um, so um, and I would probably, if I used this permanently, I'd probably like hot glue these. Um, I'd probably hot glue these adjustment screws once I have it the way I want it because they are sensitive and we don't want this to, to change on us. We needed to ma stop, we needed to max out at 29.3 volts. Um, so, um, now it, this was rated at 250 watts. It's only we're only currently drawing like 35 watts, and it is slightly warm. It is, you know, it does have a big heat sink on the, you know, well, it's got a big aluminum heat sink on the underside. But I'd probably, if we did any real wattage, we'd probably have to put some fins on the underside since it's it's warm at 30 volt, uh, 30 watts. Um, at 100 watts, we'd probably get hot, so we'd probably need some fins on the underside, but. Um, yeah, I mean it has, again, has potential as a, as a means of charging these batteries, especially on like something like a solar generator when you're in the field and you just need a simple way to charge. Um, you know, it, and this was about $10, so a $10 boost circuit for charging your batteries. Um, yeah, it's a potential way of, of doing things. I'm going to run this up to full charge and I want to see kind of what happens once we hit... Once we hit full charge, I kind of want to see how things uh, work, and I'll give you an update. So I decided to do a test by setting the constant voltage to 28.6 volts, and the battery was currently at 28.5 volts, and so we should see the voltage on the battery hit the constant uh, voltage limit, and then we should see the amps ramp down. And so I set up a time lapse and here is what happened. So this cheap little circuit, um, you know, can charge a battery and um, it actually works pretty easily. Um, 
again, it's not going to push hundreds of watts, but if you're hooking it up to a single 100 watt panel, trying to charge sort of a solar generator in the field, I think it'll work fine. And, you know, you could put this in one of those little project boxes, put this in the box, you know, mount this in the face, screw it up. And that could be your solar charge controller right there. Um, the only thing you would have to do is probably put a switch on the output just because the battery will keep the gauge um, always on um, and you don't always want to be running the gauge if you're not using the solar charge controller so you might have to switch the output um, but uh, you know it's this is a nice simple circuit to charge the um, to charge the battery and you saw with the time lapse it did exactly what it was supposed to. It hit its rated current. I mean, it hit its it hit its rated voltage, and then the current ramped down to nothing, um, and you know, and and basically it stopped charging at the rated uh, at the at the current at the voltage that we had set. So, um, yeah, I mean, and you know, this was I think ten dollars. This was like three dollars. So for thirteen dollars, we have a reasonably effective way of charging a. Um, you know, a solar generator on the, on the go. So yeah, not a bad way of doing things.